Hey guys, Tyler is awesome too here. And we all know Kevin Eleven from the series Ben Ten, you know? Former enemy of Ben T Henderson, now he's an ally and dates his cousin Gwen. He owns a car, which gets destroyed a lot. And he also got retcon and change and add on to a lot. Yeah, this is what I'm going to discuss. My thoughts on the whole Ken Recon stuff and the behind the scenes and what Ken's backstory could have been. And, well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. As early as in the stages of the classic series, Kevin had no origin story. Well, aside from being born of absorption powers and run away from home because of it. There is nothing in the classic era that reveals how Kevin got his powers. You know, I mean, how he was born with them. Like, no, nothing on the website or the pop up trivia or in the show itself or toys or merchandise. Nothing. Though Kevin's Bandai card, you know, those little things that, those holographic things that show transformations. Yeah, those are very impressive. Anyways, the back of it has info and well, basically it states that Kevin's is a mutant, but human mutant, but that could just be for his amalgam form. Not that Kevin and Kevin's like a mutant, like if they have the X-Men, regardless. And in early Alien Force, Kevin was depicted as strictly human, like despite having absorption powers, like. He was human, regardless, and and is probably just there to fill space for his Bandai card anyways. I mean, is he only for his Bandai card? I meant to say, yeah. It's probably just for that card only because they probably didn't decide he was an Osmosian yet. And then you get to Alien Force, where it's revealed that Heaven is half Osmosian from his dad's side, who is partners with Max Tennyson, even though that clearly was not come up with at the time of the original series, since Max would have probably recognized his former partner's kid, who also has the same powers. No wonder it turned out to be a fake memory in Omniverse. And then also Omniverse had revealed that Osmosians are just basically the Ben 10 equivalent of mutants. Now, Dick Marillo re recently revealed on Twitter that Kevin was not even, probably not planned to be a mutant, or when we probably, he just said, well, he wasn't thought of as mutant back then, just, I mean, it was never said to be a mutant in the cell, just never blatant. He just said he wasn't born with, Kevin just said he was just born with powers, and that was it, implying that he might be a mutant. So, there was that implication. Ken was just thought of as just having absorption powers and... Well, he just flat out had no straight up origin for them. So aside from being a mutant, Kevin could have been literally anything in the classic series. Heck, he could have been in half-alien hybrid back then. So who knows what Kevin could have been in the classic series. Man, these Bandai cards sure cause a lot of trouble, don't they? Hey guys, this is Tyler's Awesome. What did you think about this video? And what are your thoughts on what Kevin could have been in the classic series? And, well, and you think you know the drill. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And subscribe to my channel. And like and hit that notification button. All that. I am Tyler's Awesome too. And peace.